laughs. I am your host, J.L. Benjamin, and I am so excited that we have the very own Patrick Walker, actor, writer, producer, director in the building today. How are you feeling? Did you practice that? <laughs> that was so enthusiastic. What? That was no, so great. This is genuine feeling. That was amazing. I, I think it was when you took your shoes off. I was like, oh, this is this oh, is it for me. We're having a good he's, time. He's the one for me. I'm having a great day. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm having a great one. Good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Sure. So are you ready to, to get into scene? We have a new script for you. We kind of have some scripted questions. Yeah, you, we want to ask you. You can do whatever. You ready for it? I'm okay. Ready for bring them in, bring them in. Is it really a scene? <laughs> Got oh, you. Yeah. We're gonna jump right into and these. It was like, like Christian, come here. <laughs> we are. Gonna... <laughs> I was like, I see you, Come on. <laughs> We're actually just gonna say scene and jump right into these questions. Cool, so cool. let's start from the beginning. Where are you from? I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville. Duval. That's what we say. Oh my goodness! I didn't know what was happening. Duval I, thought, I thought somebody was about to pop out on the show. They may. <laughs> they may. Well, I hope they don't. Because we're here for you. Yeah. Okay, period. Yeah. I'm from Jackson. So, how did your journey start? How did you get into acting? Um, when I was in the, I believe it was the fifth grade, my teacher asked the class, like, who wants to do this play? And I remember being like, man, nobody would want to do no play. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, come here. You're going to do this play. <laughs> and she made me and this girl named Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly, wherever you are in the world. Me and Kimberly do this play. And um, it was like a Christmas play. And that was the first and we rehearsed at the end of the day. So we would get out of class early. And it was like a small school. So we rehearsed and then do it. But I remember the opening night after we finished, the crowd was just like erupting. I had on like a blue and black um, like plaid shirt. And I remember being like, man, I remember that feeling of like, oh man, I can see it in my head right now. Like, oh my gosh. And I remember walking through the back. Obviously I'm short, so people are taller than me. I remember walking through like adults. <laughs> and then, like, here, congratulations. Oh, that was so good. Da, 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 da. But that was, like, the first moment. I'm from the hood, so, like, I didn't act anymore because um, I couldn't, I didn't know where I was. But after I graduated, I moved to Atlanta, and then I started classes. So, wait a minute. I think, I think you left out some details there because uh, no. I, a little birdie told me that if you were, like, in track, class president, doing all oh, these oh, things yeah. in high school. But they didn't do, they didn't do acting. <laughs> I know. Oh, so, yeah. so, I'm curious, like, how that contributed to your story and where you are now? Well, I think the being a leader and or be, even like being on set, being able to um, command scenes and even be able to be a good person on set generally, as we all are, are, are a collective of individuals working long hours in the day, yeah. that um, being the oldest, being the the, 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 the the head of the track team, being a class president, I've been leading things for a long time. So in that space, like those skills that God gave, I was able to now like be able to see the sound guy having a bad day. I woke up to him and do, do like, like just rub him on the shoulders and be like, you good? And make people smile in that way because I know we all need that, that like, you know, bit of motivation. And I would do the same thing on the, on the, on the field, just because we're all collectively as a team yeah. trying to do the best as far as artistically and on a track, in the track or like class president as a unit and try to lead them to be like, hey, what's the, what are we going to do? This? We're going to do this, this pep rally? How are we going to do it? You know? Yeah. Dang, I never... Yeah. I mean, so we have some past viewers, students yeah. who are in these same roles or positions as you who sure. are curious, you know, how how are the things that they're doing now going to contribute to their greater story? And so you mentioned yeah. like you're from the hood. Like, yeah. What did a day to day um, look like for you prior to acting and, and you transitioning? We... I think that the, my opinion is that in the hood is the, I think it's the greatest place. I think that's where the happiest people are, Ooh, in my opinion. Come on, drop the gems. Why? That's what I think, yeah. Because I think there's, there, there's, an, there's authenticity to knowing that you, you know that you don't have much and you're okay with not having much, but sometimes you don't even know it. Kids who don't know that they're broke, like you didn't know it. So you just enjoy whatever you had. You didn't know that, that y'all was broke. You didn't know that you lived down here at this level necessarily. You didn't know that like, oh, um, I'll go to my homeboy house and then we'll have waffles. So we would eat waffles all the time. Yeah. Or like we would eat sandwiches. A lot of our meal, my meals were sandwiches. You know, if you didn't eat sometimes, I go, we ain't had no bread that night. But generally <laughs> it was sandwiches and like, like my home, we would just be excited about waffles. So to the point now where like, when you grow and you get more, you understand that like, oh, everything is a plus. I'm, I'm living on the plus. Yeah. If I have a bad day, I'm still living on the plus. If, I'm, if, if I miss out on, <laughs> I don't miss out on some big roles in the past like <laughs> two months. So if I know that like, if my brain will calculate money like, oh, I missed a million, I missed a million, I missed two million. I know that, oh, I'm still living in the plus. Cause I mean, where I came from, I'm not eating sandwiches right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every day, so I feel like um, that was a little off track, but. 
No. Uh, what was the question? No, that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah. How did your experience oh, every day. What but did yeah. it look like? Yeah, that's what yeah. it was. And even like just I think when people start talking about hanging on a block. It's just like generally being outside. We was outside all day. We would walk around at like three o'clock in the morning. Gunshots was nothing. It, it is it's nothing. It ain't nothing to hear no gunshot. It, you don't even flinch at a gunshot. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Tap dance. We're here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Tap dance music. <laughs> gunshot. Hey, 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 hey. We gotta get him out of here. Yeah, no, but yeah, but I mean I think um I think like it, it just was regular, you know, and I, I think it helped me to just be humble now and not to like need too much. Cause people be needing way too much. Especially yeah. on set, like just generally people need, like they, they feel like they need so much. Yeah. And you don't, you know? Yeah. Sometimes. So after that role, was it that role in middle school that made you be like, hey, I want to take acting serious? What was that moment where it was like, yeah. hey, this happened, I don't know if it was mm -hmm. a death or even a success, right? Mm -hmm. That kind of triggered you to be like, hey, I'm consistent here. I was in Jacksonville. It, we were sitting on a street at three o'clock in the morning. Okay. And I remember we walked through the street and there was some dudes that walked the other way. And they looked at us, looked at them. Uh-huh. They did their thing. But I remember walking and being like, man, I can't do this for the rest of my life. I remember that. I remember being in my head, and I even said it to my homeboys, but I remember being like, man, I can't do this for the rest of my life. I and mean, we're not even doing nothing bad. We just like, it's just not, it's just nothing there. Yeah. Um, and then I, I ended up moving to, going to Atlanta for the summertime because my dad lives here. Uh -huh. And then I did, I never came and I didn't come back. I told my mama I was staying. And I went back and like, you know, said bye. She was really upset with me because I never told her, sorry, mama. <laughs> but like, and like we had a moment about that later on, but like, I, and then I stayed in Atlanta. I was supposed to go to Clark. Um, I, I went to a little orientation. They said the tuition, I was like, Ugh. I was gonna do track, but I was like, no, nah, I don't wanna be a slave to like a sport. Yeah. Cause I knew I wanted to try acting. Then I went to my first acting class just cause I was like, let's just do it. Yeah. And then I went to Dwayne Boyd's acting class. So that first acting class. Oh yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> Tell us about it. We, we wanna know. The, yeah. What's the realness? The I, freshman real, walking man, in. Man, listen, I saw my, my first scene partner, I was at his house like two days ago. So I'm, um, so I go to class for the first time. I got there early. I remember, oh, it, the wall was like this. It was a white wall like this. And there was a clock on the wall. I remember getting there early. It was Dwayne and his, his assistant was there. And I sat down and I looked at the clock. In my thought, I thought, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. I, that, that came into my brain. I didn't even know it. But he said, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. And then did the class. And I did a scene with, with, with Taiwan. What's up, Taiwan? My boy. <laughs> did a scene with Taiwan. And they were saying that like we were so energetic that it was just so much happening on the stage. And we were just like, blah, blah, blah. Talking fast and tripling, fumbling, and I remember somebody said that we, um, it was like crackheads on stage. <laughs> I'm sorry. And that, like, and everybody laughed. And I was so hurt. And then at the end of the class, there was a beautiful actress. Her name is Andrine. Andrine Hammond Ward. Andrine came up to me, who's killing it right now. She's on 61st Street right now. She's killing it. She came up to me and was like, hey, what you have is special. The energy you have, if you learn how to hone it, it'll be, you'll be good. Yeah. And like that, like that one person telling me that, like I came every week and I was in class. Then I started coming to different classes and I started just coming to watch and I just got really addicted to it after that point. Wow. Yeah. And so you, you kind of told us about your process or a little bit mm -hmm. how you study and train. Mm -hmm. What does uh, studying and training look like now as a comparison to when you first started? Yeah, well the, oh, I think, no. Or has it changed? Is it the same? Well, oh, it's, like, it's changed. Well, uh, it's you know updated. What I'm it updates. You acting the same freshman year as you no, no, year. no, 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 no. Like, no, hey, no, I'm no. treating it all. No, well, time. The, the passion is the same. I just feel like some artists. Um, I think that small things differentiate artists, and I feel like like passion is a difference between um, different people. You know, it is yeah. like addict, like to be like addicted to something. It is now working on the show that I'm working on now. It is like this. Um, Knowing what, what lines I have coming up in three days, like those words will run through my head all, all day, you know, yeah. like all day. Even like I'd let a feature um, this um, during COVID, but like the, the, the lines, they run through my brain as I sleep. And I wake up every morning at 3 a.m. and I will run those lines for the next day for about 30 minutes and I'll go back to sleep on those lines. But it just, it is, I just get really, really like in, uh, like trapped inside of this world um, yeah. as far as like, the, like that is the process. And then it's like constant discovery. I have my, you saw me bring this. Like <laughs> if we say something, I will write it down that, that moves me because it's like it, like I, I'm constantly, constantly inspired um, to 
um, find things because like you're gonna say something I know it that like makes me go oh shoot and then that if it inspires the moment that I'm that I'm preparing for it and I'll write it down and yeah. it just I'm just super um, um, addicted to per- perfection uh, or or achieving getting cl- as close to the truth as possible yeah. and if I do bad like I did this so working on the feature there was a scene where they push a scene up a big scene up that day and it was supposed to be like another day and I remember like preparing for it in the trailer running the lines and on the day when we did it. I was so frustrated, like I was doing the lines, and I was like, ah, I was like, and we're in the woods, because I know it's a whole crew waiting on me, and I remember, and I don't even curse, but I remember being like, F word, real loud. <laughs> and I said, let's do it again, let's do it again. And I remember being like, everybody, I apologize, I got this, I promise y'all I got this. And then like, but the pressure was there, but I was like, and I wanted to be perfect. Yeah. And then we did it, and then I remember like, I ran three miles um, that day, and I was just crying, because mm-hmm. like, I didn't, I didn't, oh man, I, I didn't hit it that day. I feel it now. Like I didn't hit it. So it, it looked good, but like I went to the director and I was like, listen, like he was like, no, Patrick, it was great. But like that, like need to like mm, mm, every scene, yeah. every moment, like find like just be as close to like the truth as possible. And if I'm not close, if I feel like I'm uh, fabricating in any way, then uh, I don't feel like I'm worth it, you know, on that day. But it's just an, an artist's, you know, like yeah. their thoughts, you know, <laughs> just do, 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 do. Hey, I mean, it sounds like you talk to yourself a, a lot sure, yeah, yeah, <laughs> in yeah. a sense of like practicing positive self-talk, yeah. things that you tell yourself. Sure. What are the top three aspirations that you're telling yourself right now? The top not asp- th- aspirations. What are the top three affirmations that you're Affirm- telling yourself? Oh right my now? gosh. Top three affirmations. And if you could say them to the camera um, <laughs> so they can overflow into the past viewers. I think, I think that I like to remind myself that, um, oh, you know what? This is what I've been saying lately. <laughs> But it's more to God. But I will say, if I feel um, like I- I'm thinking too much about something, yeah. I will say like, God, whatever your will is, like, like let your will be done. Yeah. And it, I used to say that, as, I've said it my whole life, but it didn't become real until this year. Cause it's like, I was so close to so many things and I just let go and was like, oh God, let your will be done. Cause like, whatever you want it to happen, I have to be okay and I have to let that happen. Cause like his thoughts will become my thoughts. And when that happens, then like I'm able to flow correctly. Cause when I'm trying to like force something my way, yeah. I, it may work, but like it, it's it's not what it was supposed to be, you know. So yeah. like, um, I just let I just tell myself just let God like let God do the work, like let God handle it, like all the time. I'm just being like, no, nah, chill, Patrick. Let God do his thing. Cause you're trying to do God's job. I get it. So it's like a faith, but still with work stuff. So, yeah, exactly, exactly. Line, yeah, yeah, you working you're going it. Yeah. To sleep you're with just the relaxing. Line. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, but like after, but and then like I try to remind myself that I'm that I'm great because you I can forget. Yeah. People people remind me all the time. But like their words mean so much, you know, you have to know for yourself that you are great. Um, even though everybody else says like, oh, you're great. You have to know that your time is coming. Yeah. You know, everybody's saying, oh, your time coming, Patrick. <laughs> you, you're the best actor I've ever seen. You're the goat, <laughs> young goat, goat, goat. But I'd be like, okay, I'm still waiting on my moment. And, yeah. you know, and when it comes, it's going to come, you yeah. know, and I have to just trust that. And that's why I tell myself that, oh, it's coming. I went to the, I was out at a lounge the other night with Rob Morgan, Dominique Fishback is in the show. I love you, Dominique. Um, and Rod, and who I, and I love Rob Morgan. <clears throat> I've loved him for a long time. I went to the bathroom and I said, oh God, my, I said, it's coming, I can feel it. Like, but I'm reminding myself that, oh yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I'm, but I, I, I was saying, I'm in the thick of it. Yeah. I remind myself that, oh yeah, Patrick, you right there, you in the thick, you in the sauce. You in the sauce, because when it, when, it, when, it, when it happens, it's going to be over for everybody. <laughs> The off season, J. Cole, over for everybody. It's over. Can I say, can I, say the, I can't say the word. It's over. It's over for you niggas. It's over for them niggas. In, in, in a very respectful way. In a very respectful way. Humbly. Nah, respectfully. <laughs> yeah. Like Wait. Christian here, Christian. So how did it feel after leaving that first set? So your first major gig oh. in your mind. Like, what was that feeling? What was that post oh. set? Like, yo. Yo, they don't even know. I was so happy. <laughs> I played a thug. My first role was a thug named Lucius on the NBC show called Constantine. They cut the lines, but I still pulled a gun out on this man. And I'm like, man, whatever. I get this. There I am. Here I am. I'm a part of the stereotype. Playing a thug already. No, but um, I was in the trailer going crazy. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I still do the same thing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go in my trailer. The first thing I do is pray. I get on my knees. I pray. Oh, and in this interview, I wanted to be known that this is not for self glorification. It's motivational purposes only. I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm saying that for the people. Okay. Yeah, this, this is because I don't like to glorify myself. It's all for motivational purposes. I just like it to be known. 
Okay, okay. I'm going to say that on Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> I will. On Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. I'm going to say, hey, the same for, for self glorification, motivational purposes only. I'm going to serve. Are you going to take your shoes off on Jimmy Kimmel too? I'm going to take them shoes okay, off. Okay, can, can you tell us why the shoes did all? I feel like when I talk about. Know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like when I talk about craft, it is holy to me. Yeah. So I take my shoes off to discuss, to like talk about holy things. Yeah. Like if I'm praying, my shoes are off. It's holy ground. So in this moment, talking about the thing that I love the most, mm-hmm. then it's holy. You know, I'm giving mm-hmm. you a part of me. So yeah, wow. this is holy. Yeah. So you're you're practicing the lines. You're mm-hmm. praying. You're aligning spiritually. Sure. How are you preparing physically? Like, what is your what, what does your workout look like? Or <laughs> <laughs> I work out before I go. To, so if we go to set at like if we're going to set at eight. I'm gonna be in the gym at like six. If we go to set at seven, I might be in. I, I try to work out for like an hour or 45 minutes and then go take showers and stuff, then go to set. Or like get my time to like, give myself time to run the lines. Yeah. Or like, not even to run the lines, but to find the intention. Cause more than lines, it's so much more. Like, you know, it's more, it's more than just lines. <laughs> it's just, it's so much that you have to find. And, you've, and I'm always finding something yeah. as I'm going through things. So I have to give myself time to discover for that day. Cause I'm in a new place than I was yesterday. So I'll find something new, but I just, I work out. <laughs> like, it's nothing. It's regular. Yeah, 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 it's regular yeah, yeah. part of the process. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's another moment, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we've talked about kind of where you're from yeah. and, and where you are now. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious, uh, what questions are you asking yourself right now? As far as what? That's a good question. Yeah, life, anything. It could be you're asking yourself in regards to career, but just what questions are you asking yourself right now? <laughs> oh, yeah, I had to come with the stops. <laughs> this, this might be too, you know what? I ask myself questions more on a personal level now because I am just overly um, passionate about this thing that I do. Yeah. So I try to ask myself if I'm doing the right thing as far as personally, like in life. I'm a good person. Yeah. But like with relationships and interactions, I try to make sure that I'm doing um, the best that I can on that <laughs> frontier as well. Other than just like giving my best, like if I'm giving my best to like my craft, I'll say like, oh, are you giving your best to um, reading them scriptures? Or are you giving your best to like, to like this person, like this friendship or like that friendship? Or like, are you giving your best to all these other things as well? So I try, I would check myself as far as like the energy I'm giving to everything else. Cause actors know when you get an audition, the whole world just, mm, and move out the way. You're like, you can be on vacation, be like in, a, in, your, in your room. <laughs> I remember one time I, had, I, was, I was dating this girl and I had an audition on vacation. She was so mad because I would be in the bathroom like, I'm in the bathroom with my- When are you coming out? Right, no. Yeah, we're going we to go to the pool in a second. We're going to the pool in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the craziest nah. place you filmed the audition tape? Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, nigga. Oh, uh, yo, I was, this was my first time. I was, I was riding my bike down the street in, um, in, on Claremont. And the- um, and I got an audition. My agent was like, you got to get this in now. I said, what? So I went into the bathroom of, a, of like a library on Claremont. And I was riding a bike. And I didn't have a car. And I remember like getting out. And I remember having like to set up my phone. And I like read my lines. I didn't get that. I did not book that. But I read my own <laughs> lines. And I recorded my, my own self. And then like laid it on top of it. It was dark in there. It was in a bathroom. It was horrible. In a bathroom. It was stupid. It's something about the bathroom. I'm, yeah. I'm noticing that. There's really? Some stories with bathrooms. Oh, I'm in bathrooms. <laughs> maybe that's where God does. Maybe that's what God does is working in, in that bathroom. <laughs> in the bathroom. That's, that's my closet. That's, yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Jeez, somebody get it a water. <laughs> no, I didn't need it. But um, that's crazy. So I mean, that's not crazy, but that's wild. Yeah. So what I hear you saying, without directly saying it, mm-hmm. right? is that your passion or your calling can touch you at any moment. Mm-hmm. And you have to be prepared, right? You have oh, to yeah. have your paper, your pen. You have yeah. to be prepared or willing to stop everything else that that is just not as high of a priority yeah. as your calling and your passion. Yeah, there, there's a... I don't want to get too preachy, but in the Bible... We need a word. There is there is a moment, I believe it's Paul, Saul. He gets um, he gets smitten by... He gets smitten off a horse and, and he's blinded by light. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like inspiration, like things, and it changes, whole, that moment changes whole life because God is talking to him. Yeah. So I feel like at any moment, like information could get downloaded to us and we have to be like ready to listen. Because I feel like all day, like we, we, like God can talk to us, but if we're not like, if we're not able to listen, then we miss things. Yeah. So I feel like if I'm supposed to communicate something through the camera on that day, if I'm not like paying attention to everything or like listening for that voice, then yeah. I, I could, I can miss it. So I try to like, be it always, I'm always in the moment. I try to also like just listen for 
the inspiration or for God's voice or whatever it is that I'm supposed to do. Because like, there's a message that's supposed to be conveyed through that camera on that day in that scene. Yeah. And the thing is, too, I feel like I, I really go so hard with the craft because I feel like like people will suffer if I don't. You know, like people mm-hmm. will, people could die. Like, like if, if, I was, if I'm supposed to make a movie, if I'm supposed to do a show or do an interview that I don't do and a kid's supposed to watch it to be inspired that day, if I didn't do it that day, yeah. Then like what what is it for that kid? So like if my if my if God sent me here to be um, some sort of like light for for yeah. for billions of people, then if I'm not on my if I don't do my best, then they die, and it's just that's just just it. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty intense, but like they will they will suffer if I don't do my absolute best. People say that's a little too much pressure for yourself, but. If 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 Moses didn't get up and like he didn't lead the people, they weren't gonna make it to the land of milk and honey. It's like in anything, it's like if a if a president, any leader in any way, if they don't do their job, then people suffer. So yeah. I feel the same way as far as like the world. If I don't, if I'm not on my P's and Q's, if Christian is not on his P's and Q's, people are gonna suffer if he doesn't do what he's supposed to do. Yeah. So he has to do what he's supposed to do. Cause his kids waiting to hear from his waiting to hear his voice. Yeah. So if we don't do our best then. You're not doing what you was called to do. <laughs> like, if, if that's your calling, if you feel that like that's your calling. Yeah. So yeah, I feel that. Who has been an influence or major major light that you've looked towards in your career? Or in just person in or life? in life? Yeah. That I haven't met? Oh, okay. Oh, that, that you haven't met. Oh, that haven't met or haven't Same met? Say one that you have met and one you haven't met. Great. I will give you a few. Jesus. <laughs> I'll be mean, everybody. Denzel Washington. Um, my brother, Jock McKissick. Yeah. Um, and every actor like Christian who like who does when they do well, like it it, it moves me. Like he told me he booked, um, I don't know if we could say, but he told me he booked he booked a show. And like it, it it moved me. And I was like, oh shoot. And I like I cried, authentically cried when he told me that he booked it. Cause I was like, man, like I, I'm I'm happy that he has this moment. It makes me like, yeah. It moves me now when 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 people who are good at what they do and are good people when they get that moment. Cause like, we need those people, you know? So I feel yeah. like it, everybody who, who I feel like loves the thing that I love when they, when they succeed, like that, that moves me, you know? Yeah. Like, like when we're saying like, Oh, you should, you should do voice things and you should do this and do that. <laughs> and when you do that, it'll move me because we just talked about it. And when you do like, yeah. if you feel it and you're moved to it, I'm going to be like, man, she did that. She inspires me today. So now I get to go. Now I'm going to keep going. Cause she inspired me today. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful. I'm inspired by Everyone who does what they are called to do, because it's challenging and it's scary to do what you're called to do, because you hear it, but you can't see it. Yeah. You know, you got to kind of move through that thing that you can't like see, but you just hear it and you're like, oh, I got to find it. But you know, it's, you know, it's over there, but you, <laughs> you can't see it. It's like, no, oh, it's somebody on the, on the other side of the fence. You just can't see it. It's like, you know, home, de- home improvement. <laughs> That's a joke, but yeah. <laughs> so, so where are you now? Where would you say you are now? What's, what's happening in life? Right now, this very moment. I am. I'm happy right now. Yeah. I'm happy right now. I'm working with a legend right now, so I get a chance to like watch a legend every day. Even when I don't film, I told him I would come to set. I like asked him. I said, "Hey, can I come to set every day?" Oh, that's a magic key. Cause somebody magic right key. now is like, "Oh, I'm not filming. Why should I go to set? Why should I do X, Y, and Z?" Yeah. Hey. What's your decision in doing that? Is oh. it to just be, you know? I don't know. It's it ambiance. You're it right. Because const- somebody's going to do something. I learn so much from every, um, and this is every, pretty much every show that I work on. If I have like a good role, then I, <laughs> and I feel like, oh, okay, cool. They're going to say yes. Then I find myself like going to the set and watching like other scenes. Um, when I did, when I was on The Resident, I would watch like Bruce Greenwood. I would watch um, uh, Michael Jamal Warner. We would have scenes, but I would just like watch these people who've been doing it for a long time to just like watch the, the way that they, you know, do it. Um, and now, like watching oh, Samuel Jackson yeah. do it, um, and watching like how nuanced he is. Every like scene and every moment, he is just dancing on on the camera, and it's like you could just feel like this um, majestic thing is that he does, you know. And, and I'm like getting a chance to like watch in between it, watching it happen, and even watching Dominique, like watching her moments in between, and like feeling like how how these things work. But it, but, but watching Sam is just very. It's just how when will I ever get the opportunity again? And he knows that I told him. And I've That's asked him in person. It's yeah, loud. I've asked him a billion questions. To, to, I've asked him every about every movie, every question. He told me movies to go watch. Are oh, we watching them this weekend? But like, just I and go. He gave you home. I mean, yeah. in the, in the said, sense, this, student this, sense, he yeah. gave you homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were diligent about doing the homework. Yeah, because if you love it, 
And you said rewatch, meaning you had already watched oh, it. Oh, no, th- th- this one movie, th- he said th- this movie was his favorite. And I was like, whoa, what? I haven't seen that one. Out of all the other ones that I've seen. And I was like, all right, cool, I gotta go watch that one. So, so what, what does that study look like for you? Are you reading books, uh, like ra- watching? Like, what are you reading right now? You know, right, right now, I'm not necessarily <laughs> reading a book. I, oh, no, well, I'm reading the, 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 the show, like the book um, for the show. But um, other than reading that book, I was reading Matthew McConaughey's Green Lights. Yeah. But like I try to read, I like certain kinds of books because like you know teaching books are like self like self help books are cool but like books where people try to teach you. I always felt that if everybody reads the same book, then we all got the same knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> I mean which which is you know and you take it your own way, but I'd be like oh if if a million people read the same book, we're gonna all go about things the same way, you know. And um, I don't know, so I try to like take what I can from books, but not like be like oh I'm. I'm so what you be reading the trap star book? Like what you? Be- <laughs> is that a book? A trap star? Book? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna find that. <laughs> Trap star? It's not the title, but like oh. it's like a, a particular genre. But like, what do you? What kind of books do you read? What well, I like? I like. I like, well, I like books about like about like people's journeys and stuff okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. like Matthew McConaughey. Kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Books about like journeys and like or like movies, books like your um, uh, like the I won't go into like the secrets and stuff like that. Which those books are amazing. The secret, read the secret. Um, <laughs> but like um. <laughs> I might, not, I might not go into them books, you know, necessarily. <laughs> Unless like, somebody, somebody gives me a little excerpt from it. But <laughs> just like, yeah, like books about people's lives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For inspirational purposes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm curious, right? We're sitting at these desks at PASS. And yes. I mean, I don't know if this brings back memories for you. Oh, but I know. I used to have everything hit that, up in yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your go-to item that was hit up in this desk? Oh, my go- um, My pencil? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm simple. Hot Cheetos. I don't know. Oh, Game no, it, it would be a, no see what, what I did was I gum. I don't, I don't like gum. I'm not a gum fan. Wow. But people <laughs> people would ask for pencils and I would have this is no lie. I would have a wad of pencils and like pens that I would keep with me like it with a rubber band around it. Cuz people be like, hey, "Who got a pen?" <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Even now in my bag is my car. I have like so many variations of pen. Cause by, by character, by I think my, each character has a different pen. So I like to like know like, oh, this character will use this pen. Oh, this is a little. I never told you about that. But like every character has like a different pen or like a different. So wait, is that a past exclusive? I guess it is an exclusive. Stay tuned. Yeah. Past exclusive. In this script yeah. you read, it would never be the same. It would be some sort of like the, like the pen will represent who the character is. It's kind of so strange. This is something you do. Yeah. So what does self care look like? We've we've heard oh. about like you on vacation, you on the set, you on a motorcycle. I mean so, like. Like, what does, what's self-care look like when you're completely like, hey, I'm putting this down? Have, have you had that moment? I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't, I'm not very good with self-care. I have to be better with it. Okay. I don't, I, I never put it down. I should put it down. I don't, I haven't put it down in a very long time. I think during COVID, oh, you know, oh, I'm lying. I'm <laughs> lying. Why are you lying? Because COVID just happened. So it's a lot of self-care going on because it wasn't nothing happening. <laughs> if it wasn't no COVID, then I didn't do whatever. But I started painting. I started painting. I listen to like classical music. Okay. And I like, and I want to like, um, I never said this before, but I want to be like a, a composer. So I want to like compose, class- I have sounds in my head. Yeah. So like I've been jotting down my like sounds of different instruments and I like layer them in my phone with my voice. And then, um, so I want to like put together like a, a symphony. Like, a, like I want to put like a, like a, I want to compose my own piece. Yeah. Um, but like I will <laughs> take like um, um, opera music and I've been painting to opera music or like, either opera music or like outcast. Yeah, one of those two. Just depending on what I, what I feel that day, but like I've been doing a lot of painting. Two different vibes. Prototype. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love prototype. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. So, what was the last thing you painted? What was it? Um, it's not a, a, a what. It's just it's a feeling. Oh, abstract. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more like a what I felt that day. What was the last feeling? Um. Oh, it was dark. Okay. It was, yeah. The last thing I painted was dark. It was black. Oh, actually, what it was is the, the canvas, a part of the canvas was was broken on one end. It was like the thing was broken, so it had like a, it was sunk a little bit. So when I set it down to dry, the, this is God, the canvas like tilted, and then the um the paint started to run in the, in a movement like this. And the painting, uh-huh. it became a, it became a heart, but it became like a tree. Oh, wow. But it was supposed to be, it was really, it was black, and then like I would add in white, and then it became a light gray. So anytime I try to make it, oh my goodness, this revelation. Anytime I try to make it dark and I added colors in, it will make it, it kept becoming lighter. 
I was like, the middle is going to be white, but the outside is going to be, it's just going to be a lot of black around white. That's what I, all I wanted. But it became the, the, the black, the white would push into the, into the black and it wouldn't let it be dark. It just, it became gray. So it was all black and it was like a gray and like a light gray into a white, but it all sunk down and it became like this tree. And people look at it. It looks like a fist like this yeah. or a tree. And it's like, but like, there's a, there's a story in that, you know? Yeah. They're like, yeah. And I mean, the story is even for the viewers and what I'm hearing, right? It's like, we can try to make things dark, right? Self-doubt, self-sabotage. Mm. But at the end of the day, there is a light that permeates regardless. Ooh, that but it will find its way. Yeah, go. I like that. I like that. I like that. Look at the way you just put that together. There's a light that permeates that the darkness. Light. The darkness. That, that, was <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. So what's next? What's next for you? What, what is either an actor that you're looking to work with um, that you haven't worked with before mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. a director or a casting director? Like, yes. What in your mind are you like, hey, this is, this is a go? Because um, we, we trying to manifest things off path yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because God hears me. Um, I want to work with, um, I like to work with, I, I want to work with that, but I love Viola Davis a lot. I'm willing to go on like a, like a have a competition with anybody in the world on like the level of love that I have for this woman. I, I guarantee you I will beat anyone. I love her that much. Oh wow! I would we, die. We had someone yesterday talking about. Viola I guarantee Davis. you, I love. The, I guarantee you, I love her more. We might need to bring that. Bring back. that person back. Pass. And I and I, will, and I will and I will we can go through every movie, every moment. I will perform every scene she's ever done. Wow. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm like wow. No, no, no. I will work for Viola Davis. Christian Robinson. Love it. Jot my kids. I want to work with my friends because those are the future legends. Hmm. Speaking of, what's the importance of community and having your peer network? Oh. a lot of people are just like, oh, this person's up here. I'm trying to socialize up here. But yeah. they are missing the blessing yeah. like that is beside them. You know what's you know what's unique to me? This is a question for everybody. I'm all thinking about this. I don't understand why people, um, like, the fact that, like, this is a legend. This is Christian up on that for everybody. Like, Christian is here. He will be a legend one day. Why would I not talk to him like he's a legend right now? Like, why do I not talk to him like he's greatness right now? Yeah. Why would I not? Like, if, if like everybody wants to know what Jordan, like Jordan's first dunk. I get the chance to watch Jordan's first dunk every day. You know, like in any moment, I can, I can, I can look at, jo I can, I can find Jordan. Does that make sense? So, like any, like I don't understand why people can't like, like why we don't like people that we know gonna be good for a long. You know they're gonna be good. <laughs> like why don't you speak to them as if they're greatness already? Or why don't you like, like, like enjoy that great? Like, cause like you, we have the opportunity, like this interview, like we have an opportunity to see where greatness is right now and like how passionate it is right now. Early, early, early young Patrick right now. And it's like that, like, like that is, that is it. Like that is, that is where I wanna go. Like that's who I wanna, who I wanna work with. Yeah. I, I love to work with Denzel too. I wanna work with Christian over Denzel. Yeah. Cause he gonna be a legend. Denzel's already a legend. I want to work with a future legend. Ooh. But, you know, I, I do want to work with Denzel as well. <laughs> but they, yeah, I want to work with Denzel as well. Drop that mustard seed. Drop that mustard seed. Yeah, I want to work with Denzel as well. But, uh, but yeah, it would be them. But, like, on this project now, it's a lot of, like, actors that I, like, really, like, love. Like, there's an actress named Marsha. I forget Marsha's last name, but she's been on everything, and I've loved her. And I'm like, yo, Marsha on this show? So, like, her, Sam is cool. And I love Dominique Dominique. But, like, you know, people, I want to work with my friends. <laughs> I'm telling you, they legends. We next. Hey, period. Yeah. You now, really. We now. To somebody who's watching this, We're you're right now. now. You're yeah, right, right now. now. Yeah. You're right now. Yeah. They're like, oh my God, I get to hear his story, where he's from, what he's yeah. like, what he really be like, you know, yeah. the real him, the unfiltered, yeah. like what guides him. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I mean, yes, you're next, but you're now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm over here sweating. <laughs> so like, you're now. So in that, why add on or... Why also pursue other passions of yours, like directing mm -hmm. and producing? What kind of inspired that as well? Well, at first it, it was because I didn't have the work, like I wasn't getting opportunities. And then, but like, I, let me say this the right way because I don't want nobody to I don't want to wait for people who don't understand. I don't want to wait for people sitting behind desks who would cast their little cousin over me. I don't want them to be in charge of my future. Like I don't want mm. like somebody who like is from a different um, culture or from a different um, walk, of life. It, walk of life, different path, different path. Yeah, <laughs> to be able to dictate what happens next for me. So I'd rather take um, take control of that now, um, and even 
like the last project I wrote, it was about like some contract. It was like these two contract, uh, like these contract killers. They're two, like um, two black and one Indian, two black dudes and an Indian girl. And they're like, but like, it's just like, but it's just unique. I can't put together unique ideas and then, and then like bring my people in and, and we do it. And, um, and we can have fun with it. But I feel like if you wait for somebody, then it's like, you can wait forever. I yeah. Mean, I don't know. I just, I just never agree with like waiting on somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Are you leading any workshops or doing any trainings for up and coming actors, directors? I teach classes. I teach a Zoom. Um, right, right now, I'm not not at this very moment, but like maybe like next month. I did it last month, but um, we have a class here in Atlanta called the Booking Room. They do that on Sundays. Okay. In Atlanta, I mean not Atlanta, Los Angeles, actors play LA. I do stuff with them, but but generally people like like like, like, what, like about like paths. People contact me like every week. What do you do? How do you do? How do I do this? How do I do that? What do you check the most? Email, DMs? What? Oh, email. Well, I'll be, I'll be in my email like. Oh. <laughs> no audition. All right, cool, 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 cool. Until the moment I, I, I ain't gonna. But then for the rest of my life, I'll be checking my email. And I never checked my email when I was like. Yeah, no. 20 and, the, 20 and below? Never checked no email. <laughs> no? The email. Every five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Dude, how much money how, did we find out? It's like money, move, money moves in emails. <laughs> money moves on emails. <laughs> you be laughing for real. That's so funny. what do you do when your phone is dead? Like Oh shoot. When's the last time your phone was dead? Oh, it was dead like two days ago. Okay. But I don't be really tripping like that. Okay. I just chill. If it's dead, God wanted it to be dead for a reason. Okay. I just feel like yeah, he just because I feel like we be on our phones so much that you know, I think it's just a moment to chill. Okay. I try not in, in like moments like this, if I have like a, if I'm having dinner with people, my phone is generally off to the side. So I try not to, like there's nothing more important than like this right now. So like my phone doesn't matter. So like you guys in this room are the most important thing in the world right now to me. Cause there's nothing else that matters. Like my phone could ring, it could be an emergency. Guess what? <laughs> They're going to wait. wait. Gonna wait. <laughs> wait till I have to pass. I love that shirt, by the way. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Zoom in, zoom in. That's, dope. That's cool. <laughs> By the merch after the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, if there was one piece of advice, piece of love, a piece of inspiration that you could leave a viewer who's watching, <laughs> what would it be? One? Piece of advice. Let me do so. I ain't gonna do nothing. No, I'm gonna do something, something new in this moment right now. So if you're in paths and you're sitting on the toilet, if you're in the bathroom, if you're at work on break, if you're in the car, this is a word for you. One piece of advice I would give would be to, like to just trust God's will. I think that like that is right now in my life is to just trust God's will, and that is it. Because everything else was so moved by me. But it's like when I just like know that he has it and I trust that he has it, then everything will be okay. If there is no money in the bank, if if they're trying to evict me from my if any all this stuff that happens, if I just trust God, yeah. that like God's will, that he has a plan for my life, then I will be okay. Because I can't do nothing no way. I mean, there's if, if right now, if, if my bank account got zero dollars in it and they gonna keep they gonna keep me out. I gotta trust that God gonna God, he has a reason why they gonna keep me out. And it just makes it better for the story too. Like, yeah. if, like when you go through bad things, like, oh, yeah. More people need to hear it. So if you're going through the worst time of your life, whoever, whoever in, in the room too, like it's all for the story. You know, it's all for like somebody else supposed to hear it. So if you're going through something, is somebody supposed to hear it? Is it for you? You know, are we li like is the thing that you're going through for you? Maybe it's for somebody else. You know, that's yeah. how I feel about things. Like, oh, I'm going through this. This is so hard right now. Oh well, maybe it's not. I'm experiencing it, but yeah, it's, for, it's for not them, about me. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not about it's me not at all. Me. The character, like the character, it's not about me. I yeah. can't approach it being like, oh, how can I? No. Like, it's like, how, how do I service the story the best? Like, how do I, like, give? Everything is about just giving. Oh, and give. Like, I say it all the time. Just give. Yeah. Give, give, give. Give, 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 give. Because if you give, it'll come back around. So, you gave us a lot of good insight, right? Mm -hmm. You are reviewing your script. Mm -hmm. You're reading it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're reading books. Mm -hmm. You're watching films. Yes. So... Practical steps. So this is a next step that somebody can go, an actual location that you know of, that you mm -hmm. may practice at. What would those be? Practical steps. When somebody is starting, the first thing I say is love it first. That's number one. Because it will not go your way at all times. So yeah. I say find the love for it and just really enjoy the craft. 
I like my uh, Michelangelo sculpts. I'm a sculptor, so like you have to sculpt your pieces when you are putting together a scene. So yeah. number one, I would say find the love for the craft first. Number two, I would say obviously get get your headshots. It's like on Instagram, if you, you like good pictures. So if I get good headshots, like get into it. a good class. If you get into a good class, focus on like what you're learning, but also connect with people because like those will be the ones that like that you get work from. Like oh, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this, you're doing that. Like you can connect in that way. Yeah. Um, Get in good classes, get the headshots. I would recommend Dwayne Boyd, okay. <laughs> Actors Network in Atlanta. Um, Evol, Actors Studio, that's uh, Victor Love, he's great. Um, I, I will, oh, Actors Play LA in, in Los Angeles. I haven't tried a lot of classes, but, oh, and, and um, uh, Tasha Smith, Tasha, Tasha Smith, Smith, Tasha okay. Smith, Tasha Smith, <laughs> Tasha Smith, yes. Awesome, thank you. Yes. There y'all have it on pass. This is Patrick Walker, oh my, oh my goodness. If you if you was not blessed today, blessed tonight, you should have been blessed. You Hallelujah, did. amen. If you ain't blessed, you were dead. Get the jump. <laughs> you were just dead. Get the jumping. Get the jumping. Uh, <laughs> and again, I am your host on past J L Benjamin. I'm so excited that y'all got to join us today. I hope you were just as blessed as I was. Can't wait to see you again next week. I love it when you